Shalom, saints, and welcome back to Wakefulness Theology. My name is Messenger Paula, and we've gotten confirmation on some messages here, and I need to come out and share them with you right away. The message is a warning for Red October. I repeat, the warning is for Red October. Now, Sister Polly, here in this corner, you see a, a, a snippet from Facebook where Sister Polly posted, something just clicked. Now that the Kanye West prophecy is coming to fruition, glory be to Father Yahuwah, you gotta wonder what Kanye knows about Red October to name his shoe collection Red October Yeezy. So yes, uh, I believe it was Sister Polly who had received a message years ago about uh, Kanye West doing what he's doing right now with his Sunday church and saying that he's born again and all of these things. And so she, uh, saw these red October sh shoes because she had also received a message about red October um, in the past. So now all these things are coming to fruition, right? So this was the first confirmation that I had gotten. Just after I saw Sister Polly's post about the red shoes, this sister right here, the Lord is my shepherd, she read a prophecy from Randy Conway on October 4th. I'll put the link if you want to watch it under the video. But just quickly to show you, the name of the pro prophetic poem is Red October, A Season of Blood, A Climate of Trouble. Now if you, and it's brand new, just October 4th. If you scroll down, if you want to read the whole prophecy, hear the whole prophecy, you can watch the video. But what I want you to notice right away is that it says, who will be wearing red shoes this coming Halloween? Who will be wearing red shoes? Red shoes. Who will be wearing red shoes? Red shoes. Okay? Red October. Red October. Okay, saints? So that was my second uh, warning, which I was like, okay. It, 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 there's more. <laughs> to tell you the third uh, warning that I got about this, I have to refresh your memory. So if you remember, I did a video... Um, July 12, 2019, so that was this summer, 707 views. And in the video, I played uh, a part from Enter the Stars, and he was explaining uh, the upside down. Here, we're gonna get into what that yin and yang symbol represents as well. There will be two tanks that will be actually present at this parade, along with all kinds of military equipment. This is supposed to be a military parade. And it's almost like we're preparing for something. Things are not always what they seem in the upside down. This is the Mandela effect taken to. So here he was showing from the movie I Pet Goat how um, they are combining New Year's Eve with um, the 4th of July. To an entirely new level. Something stranger than you can ever imagine is happening structures coming up which represents death or like the beast but the fireworks are going to be going on back here as you can see here which lines up exactly with what it's showing in ipad go you got the monument her waving the, the uh, tanks down with the flag and then the fireworks going off behind the head of baron samadhi so what you're looking at is a prediction this was a foreshadowing of the event to come. The only component missing is this girl and who she is. The only component missing is this girl and who she is. The only component missing is this girl and who she is. Okay, so if you, I don't know if you remember when we did this, we were talking about transformation. If you forgot, please go back and look at the video again. But those of you who have seen it and you remember, this was a warning we talked about. The only thing that we was missing was who was this girl? Because this was for the 4th of July military parade that Trump did this year. And in, the, in this video, he was explaining how it all matches up, right? Do you remember this, saints? I pray you remember. So all we were just asking, who is this girl and when is she going to show up? Well, saints, right here. Can you see the thumbnail? Greta Thunberg in iPad Goat 2. 
So this is by Angel White. Do you see the thumbnail here? Do you see this little girl and she has her eye covered? I'm not gonna talk about that, but you should understand that symbolism. Do you see how her face is very similar here? Do you see this? So in this video, This is all wrong. I shouldn't be up here. I should be back in school on the other side of the ocean. Yet you all come to us young people for hope. How dare you? You have stolen my dreams, my childhood with your empty words. And yet I'm one of the lucky ones. People are suffering, people are dying, entire ecosystems are collapsing. We are in the beginning of a mass extinction, and all you can talk about is money and fairy tales of eternal economic growth. How dare you! My name is Greta Thunberg. I am 60 years old. I come from Sweden and I want you to panic. I want you to act as if the house was on fire. So he is explaining and showing us in his understanding that Greta Thunberg is the little girl in this video. So if that's true, we have already all the components to this prophecy coming true. We had the, the 4th of July parade that happened, military parade. Now we had uh, Greta Thunberg who has come out. We have all the pieces there together. Now we have, we know who the little girl is. And so now the only thing missing are these fireworks or explosions that in theory would be on the ground. So after it did occur to me that originally um, the brother from uh, Enter the Stars was saying that this is a mix of New Year's and 4th of July, but also saints because it's a skeleton we can't ignore that it might also be referring to Halloween. It's a skeleton. So that really was like a big warning for me. I was like, okay, hold on. So I saw that and I was like, okay, okay, okay. Now we already know we've, I've gotten messages about destruction for a long time and we know that this is heating up. We know this is coming and now we're getting red October. I still would not have come and made a video about it, but I got the nail in the coffin. I got that last confirmation that just pushed it over the edge. Brothers and sisters, I got an email from Sister Jazz, Jasmine, and Sister Jasmine was blowing me up. I mean, she was hitting me on all of my, <laughs> every possible communication uh, outlet. She was hitting me up, blowing me up. She was like, I had this dream. You got to hear it. You got to hear it. I feel an urgency in my spirit. I was like, all right, sister. All right. All right. So, um, finally we got together and, uh, I had her send me a recording. And so I'm going to share that with you guys now. It's her dream. Good evening. Good evening. Shalom. Just to share the, uh, dreams that have taken place over these few days. I was first start off with Jazara's dream because hers came on the Thursday. Uh, I should say Friday morning she relayed this to me. G, my um, Grafton and I, G and I, were stood outside our house talking and then there were some different colours that came in the sky, pinks, purples, um, various different colors um, and then as soon as we saw that um, we came back inside closed the doors and closing the windows now she said she went to close a particular window in our kitchen and as she closed it 
a demon came inside of her and then um she said she tried to she couldn't speak to Yah because of this demon didn't allow her um so she spoke to me so we all went in the inside the front room and she lied down and we all sang praises and prayed um and then she said the demon came out of her and um, so i asked how did you know i said did you see she said no she felt we felt the presence of it because it was scared the demon was um had fear and and so when he left he told all the other demons that were outside that couldn't come near our door they, they just had to be like outside our gate so to speak and they were, they were all so scared because of what this demon had told them so they were scared of us i said well what did we do then and she said well we went upstairs and cooked food and said like, what <laughs> she said well we couldn't use the gas fire downstairs i was like oh, okay so we used the uh the camp stove that i've got uh, that we have and they said, well, what did we do over the three days, you know? So, yeah, we played games and we prayed and, and, and sang. Okay, so that was the end of her dream. Now, this morning, I had my dream. My dream this morning was that um, we had, was in another home. I must have been showing the landlord around or something to uh, see this home. But I was somehow received this ticket like a ticket to Legoland or um, Thought Park or you know like an amusement park ticket but on this ticket you know for families um, was like a dark figure or a witch or something um, and it had the number one one four three six on it and the minute I read it I knew all of a sudden it related to the three days of darkness and then all of a sudden I just started thinking why have I not told um, everybody I've not warned them and I had this sense of urgency. And then as I think about my mum, who's an elderly mum, who um, I needed to go and pick her up ASAP. And I knew the three day, the, the, this day was relating to Halloween because on this ticket was a Halloween function f- invite thing or whatever this ticket theme park theme park is and um, so then I realized oh this day is Halloween day uh, and it will kick in at sunset and I know I had like a couple of hours or something I'm thinking I don't know if I've got enough time to pick up my mum and bring her back to my house um, and I was like thinking oh will she get ready all of this and then I was thinking about trying to tell my older daughter um, to sit her down and explain it to her and then all of a sudden at the back door of this house my niece who's not of the word um and my sister who lives in london who is a catholic um both turned up with pirates dishes of food i was thinking oh right great you know i can sit down tell them and we should have some food for to do us fine um and that was the end of my dream i had a real sense of urgency um about this that I had to tell people and let them know and I believe that the Jazar regime was like my co- a confirmation and there is one more thing I did have a dream just Sabbath morning of a particular gentleman that is of um, um, of the church but I haven't spoke to him many many months and lo and behold on the Sabbath morning when I went to this function this the church at Timberley Church um, he was there and I said to him, oh, you're, uh, I just had a dream about you this morning or last night. And he, and we just bantered and then he said, oh, you're a prophetess now. I was like, oh, okay, and laughed. Now, obviously this didn't mean much, but when I was relaying my dream um, this morning, I, real, I remembered this dream of him and him saying that word another reason it gave me confirmation why I'm, i feel the need that this does need to be shared all right so here we are saints i don't have the time i don't have the day i don't have the hour but um we have been warned that destruction is coming and we have been doing the necessary to prepare for this spiritually physically mentally in all the ways anything can happen this this month in october it looks like it's pointing towards halloween 
And we know as Christians, you should not have any, any connection with Halloween whatsoever. On Halloween, as Christians, as Hebrews, we should be at home, uh, windows and doors closed, uh, with our families, praying, uh, having a meal quietly. We, we should not have anything to do in any way, shape, or form with Halloween that I believe we all know already, everyone watching this channel. So uh, please take care of yourselves and your family. Uh, stay under the wing of protection of the Most High Father. Keep working on our spiritual um, maturity and our spiritual development so that we can continue to uh, be transformed as Holy Yahushua has told us that we will be. So we, uh, I think for the rest of this year, honestly, is high watch high watch season anytime from now halloween the christmas season thanksgiving new year's christmas all of that all of that is high watch season saints uh, be prepared for anything continue doing your reading continue doing your prayers we will be fasting together um tuesday night until wednesday night for yom kippur uh, fasting and praying, doing a full fast. So if you want to join us, please, please do. I pray that you have a great night, saints. All glory to the Most High Father. Shalom.